Hey YouTube, today we're going to make a Faraday cage out of an ammo can. And you might be saying, well why are we doing this? My thought process is, is that I wanted to have some ham radios in the back of each car. And then I thought about what kind of container am I going to use? So I thought it would be nice if I had them in a, some sort of Faraday cage in case there was an EMP uh, or from Lord knows what, a coronal mass ejection or something like that. So then I thought, well, what could I use? And I thought, hey, a 50 cal ammo can would be good and they're cheap. So I bought one of these from Harbor Freight. It's about $15. Uh, I found one at Walmart as well. And it was about $12. The ones at Harbor Freight seemed to be a little beefier, so I went with that. And I thought, I thought it would be a Faraday cage just when I bought it. Uh, and lo and behold, it's not. And I'll demo that right now. I'm going to put my cell phone in it. So I've got a standard iPhone 7 here. I'm going to place it in the box. And I'm going to seal it just with its normal seal. And I'm going to call it. And we should hear it ringing here. Take just a second. There it is. You can hear that ringing right now. So, that sort of surprised me, and I did some research on the web, and it appears that it's a little harder than just throwing uh, a radio in an ammo can to make it a Faraday cage. But I couldn't really find any good resources on how to make one, so I sort of aggregated some results uh, that I found on different web pages and whatnot and came up with a plan. And so that was the unmodified one. And what I've got over here is the modified one that I did earlier today. And it was a pretty simple modification. What I did was I popped that black rubber seal out. Uh, you'll see on this one right here. That, and this one actually pops out easy. I was kind of afraid it might be glued in, but it wasn't. So it just pops right out of there. Uh, then I took this edge and I took it to a, just a standard bench grinder. You can see that's shiny, hopefully. Uh, I just took it to a standard bench grinder that I have here. Went right around that just to take the paint off, basically. And then I did the same thing underneath uh, where I took the seal out. I have this Porter cable uh, angle grinder that I got off Amazon for about 25 bucks. And it did a nice job of taking the paint off underneath where this black seal is. Then uh, I wanted that seal to be compressible. So I, I went ahead and just wrapped the black rubber seal with aluminum foil. And that way it would compress properly. And it seems to work pretty well. We're going to demo it again here. I'm going to put my phone in here again and the one that's sealed properly. And we'll call it again. All right, I'll take just a second. So it's ringing, you hear it ringing now. I think it'll go to voicemail, that's what it did earlier when I tried it. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice. So, it will stop a cell phone. And cell phone signals are reasonably hard to stop from the research that I did compared to like an AM radio, which I don't have one of those unfortunately. I am no scientist, I do have a science background. In fact, I have a doctorate in a science, but I'm not a scientist per se, and I'm, and I'm definitely not, this is not my specialty, but uh, it does appear to stop a cell phone signal. EMP could be an order of magnitude or more higher in energy, but I think that this would at least help, and it's cheap, so you know, you need a container to keep the ham radio stuff uh, in the back of the car anyway, so this should offer some protection, and it would offer certainly more protection, I would feel, than an unmodded can. So thanks for watching. I appreciate it. If you like this video, click thumbs up, please.